welcome to CC's Fashion is my passion YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, subscriber, or have recently subscribed to the channel, welcome on back. And for those of you that have recently hit that red subscribe button and turned on your bell notification to become a part of CC's Fashion is my passion YouTube platform, thank you guys so much. I sincerely appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel and coming on and being a part of this YouTube family. If you don't know, I am CC, and on this channel, I talk about plus size fashion for the plus size woman. But I also venture out and do other things on this channel because we don't want to get bored just doing one thing. So I do some vlogging, I do some car chats, we talk about different subjects, and I take you along with me when I go into these stores because I love to shop. I don't care what it is. It can be clothing, it can be gadgets, it can be household decor. I love it all. So if you think that this is something that you may be interested in because this is your first time here looking at a CC Fashion is My Passion YouTube channel video, go on and hit that red subscribe button, turn your bell notification on so you will not miss any of the videos that I upload. I do not have a regular video uploading schedule right now. I just randomly pop on and just upload videos. So you'll see me a lot right now because I'm not um, in my regular uploading routine. We'll go back to a regular schedule when I go back to work. But in the meantime, we are here today to do a Valentine's Day A soft red haul. Now, if you have watched any of my previous videos, I have been talking about women's health, women's heart disease that so many women suffer from and don't even know that they have issues with their heart. If you don't know, the month of February is Heart Health Awareness Month. And particularly, I am doing this video for women that have not maybe went and got that yearly checkup, haven't did any blood work, don't really know if they have some heart issues or not, I'm dedicating this video to two girlfriends who recently died of heart attacks. And I'm dedicating this to Carmela and I'm dedicating this to Marla. Both of these women were the same age as myself. And you guys know, if you don't know, I just had a birthday yesterday, February the 11th. I made 53 years of age. And these ladies and I went to high school together. They were my ride or dies. I miss them immensely, but they both suffered from heart disease. One girlfriend had uh, a heart transplant. She had been having heart issues for many, many years. She finally um, was able to get a heart transplant, but it did not work and she died in her sleep. My other girlfriend had a heart attack due to stress during the pandemic, um, during a, a bad, relationship breakup and that stress caused her to have a heart attack and she then uh, got COVID, went in the hospital and had another heart attack and she died. So the purpose of me doing this video today is not just for Valentine's Day, but it's also for the month of February with its heart awareness, heart health awareness month, wearing something red in the month of February and for all the women that suffer with heart disease, I'm dedicating this video to you as well. So we're gonna dedicate it, we're gonna talk about what you can wear for Valentine's Day. This is a really um, video that only has three items in it, three dresses, and I'm gonna show you how you can style them and just look classy for any date night, and it doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. But this red ASOF haul is for uh, health, awareness and particularly for women. All right, you guys, so it is an ASOF haul and everything that I show you guys will be listed in the description of this video. If it's not listed, that means that it has sold out, but otherwise it will be listed. So I hope you enjoy this video because I certainly have some fire pieces. There's only three dresses and one top. And I will say that I did not even know how to do this video in order. Cause you know, I always do the last, save the best for last. 
it was hard to save the best for last in this video because everything is gorgeous. All right, you guys, let's pop into this video. All right, you guys, so here is dress number one. I love this dress. I put it with this red little clutch bag that I bought from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. You saw in my intro, the earrings. The earrings are from this store called Akira, and I'm sure most of you all have that store in your hometown. But this dress is so pretty. And the reason why I put on the red feather earrings with this dress was because of what it's doing at the bottom. And I'm gonna show that to you now. Do you see the feathers at the bottom? Oh, baby. <laughs> I mean, this is so classy and so chic. I love it. It is a bodycon dress. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It is a two-top dress. Um, I love it. I just, I just fell in love with it. It has a lot of stretch in it. Okay, it has a lot of stretch in it. It has a back zipper that zips up the back. And then when you come right here to this part, it has this um, kind of like this accordion right here. It's kind of like a panel right in here. And it has these side panels right here. It was very easy to get into. I was able to zip it up myself without my son being here. And I just love it. It's definitely speaking Valentine's Day, date night, hanging out with your friends, going clubbing. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's the most classiest dress to me because of the simple fact that the feathers, honey, just doing what it do, girl. Yes. Oh, yes. And they also have this dress in black. I decided to get it in red because red is my favorite color. And I wanted to do this video again for Valentine's Day and for women's uh, heart health. I just love it. And what I really like with this purse now, what I also like about it is it has a lot of stretch here in the breast area. So if you are bigger um, up top in the boobage area, you have a lot of room, lots of room. And again, it was easy to get into. It is so, so pretty. And the material is kind of like this silky satin material. And when you take it out the package, you almost think, hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get into that because of the material. But that's the illusion of the dress because the dress has a lot of stretch. Now, I do wanna say this. I do not have on heels because I have been having some issues with this leg and this knee. And I just don't want to put no strain on my knee and my leg. I don't know what's going on, you know, another year of, of, of aging. And I hurt my knee about three or four years ago at work. I fell on some, on, fell really hard on the concrete. And this side of my leg always kind of like, almost, almost like gives out. So I need to go to the doctor and get that checked out. But I know it has a lot to do with this knee. So just excuse the house shoes. I'm sorry, but I can't put on no heels and the foot injury at, at that. It's all messed up on this side, child. Y'all pray for me. But anyway, I love this dress. I think that it is so darling. I think it is so chic, so pretty. It's just beautiful. And then when you put the earrings on with the girl, come on, somebody. Mm. And the earrings have this little gold right in here. It's just, girl, it's gorgeous. You are going to knock it out the park if you wear this dress. Yes, ma'am. I think a red pump or a silver pump with this dress would look really, really pretty. Yes, it is one of my favorites. All right, you guys, we're gonna go on to dress number two. And keep in mind, 
that everything in this uh, haul is a size 3X, which is a size 22, 24, and everything except one item is red. Everything else is red, girl. All right, here we go. Never wants to work. All right, here is dress number two. I absolutely love this dress, but this dress also annoys the hell out of me, and I'm gonna tell you why. When I saw the dress on the site, I was like, that is really sharp, and it's really elegant and chic. But the thing that annoyed me about this dress the most was these strings right here on the arms, okay? Although it is beautiful the way that they designed it, you have to be really careful with these strings because when you're zipping the dress up, they get caught in the zipper. If you are a lady who has big arms, I think this is going to be great for you because it covers up the arms, okay? It just got on my nerve because I had to keep pulling the strings out. Now, if you have somebody that can zip you up into this dress and kind of catch the string, then you'll be okay. It's not very easy to zip up by yourself either because I have long arms, it worked for me. Again, put it with this red purse, kept on the same earrings, okay? I just think that it's classy. I think that it speaks date night. Um, you can go anywhere to any event in this dress. It has a lot of stretch. It, it was easy to get into. It was no pulling and no tugging because it does have the right amount of stretch. Now I'm going to bring the camera down just a little bit so you can see how the back looks because there is a back slit in the back, okay? So it's a back split, split I should say in the back, but it's not too hot. And I really, really like that. Because if you are a person who has back fat on the back of your leg, it's not gonna show that much. I also like the way that they designed the neckline because they gave you these two panels here that have a little um, bit of, um, shoulder pad in it but not too much so it's not overpowering and the way that it's just laying on your chest here it's not making the dress look like you are you know in some type of costume they lay flat on the shoulders but this is really what makes the dress is these strings but again they are just a little, little, little annoying for when you get ready to zip them up. And I would assume that they would probably get on your nerves throughout the night because they would keep getting caught in stuff. So if you are willing to deal with that, <laughs> then this is the dress for you. But again, ladies, if you are a lady, because you can always push them back too. That's like, let them, yeah, go like that. And they would just be you know, on the side. You are a lady who has big arms and you don't like to wear dresses um, that are sleeveless. And you want, and you, you, you know, pick dresses that are formal dresses, but they're always sleeveless. This is a, the dress for you because it does hide the lunchroom lady arms, okay? And we all, at a certain age, tend to get that little fatty part in our elbow. So this really does camouflage it and give you the cover, uh, cover, give you the coverage that you're looking for. Especially if you're like, nah, I don't like to wear sleeveless dresses. This is perfect. It is in a size 3X, which is a size 22, 24. Let's see, and again, it has lots of stretch, ladies. And I want you all to know, I do have on my high waisted sleeveless shape. Thanks, okay, and you all know I do not, do not get on camera without putting on my thanks when I do body con dresses. I don't care what you've heard or what you've been told. If you wear a body con dress, you need on some shapewear. Leggings is not going to do it. I know there's a lot of fashion influencers who say, oh, put some leggings on, put some leggings on. For some, Yes, 
but not for everything. You have you have to know when it's time to put on some shapewear. You can call it shapewear, you can call it what my grandmother back in the day used to call it, a girdle. But you need it. You need it. You need it. Stop acting like you don't because you do. Because when you don't wear body, when you don't wear shapewear under these types of dresses, these kind of body kind of dresses, and you got a fupa, and you got all of this jiggling and wiggling, like jelly and jello, it's not gonna look right. It's just not. It's, you're just not going to look right in the dress. And in fact, you take away from the beauty of the dress when you do not put on some type of shapewear foundation. You can't step out in something classy and not have on the right type of foundation. You just cannot do it. It's not, you take away from all the classiness of the dress. Put on you some shapewear, invest in you a nice piece of shapewear, spend a little more money for it, and put it on. I'm telling you, I see women all the time, plus size and smaller size women, who look beautiful, but when you get down to the dress, when they walk in and they have the dress on, they look gorgeous. But the minute they turn a certain way and all of this is sticking out, they, they belly, they poop up, you can see dimples and, 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 and uh, you know, all the indentation in there behind because they don't want to wear shapewear. Ladies, we got to wear shapewear. We just do. Okay? Because even with shapewear, you can still see my indentation, you know? So imagine not having on shapewear with a dress like this. Got to wear shapewear. All right, you guys. So this is dress number two. We are going to go on to dress number three. with the red purse because of the gold piping here and the gold here because this dress is gold and red with this gold zipper girl now let me tell you all about this dress this dress is a dress that you can get in in two ways you can put it over your head and shimmy it on down the hips okay or you can unzip this because it actually is a functioning zipper that zips all the way down okay so if you have an issue with getting it down over your curves you can zip yourself in it it is bad to the bone. I love this dress. This dress does not have a lot of stretch in it, but it has enough stretch that it's, it gives as you're pulling it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that scuba type of material. So it's not a lot of stretch because it is a thick dress, but it is sexy as all get out because you can just show a little skin right here, okay? Without having it showing your bra, you can pull it down even a little bit further. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted to show a little bit more of the cleavage right here. Or if you didn't want to do that, you can pull it up like so right here. But this hardware here where it zips, up and down and here at the bottom that zipper down here this is very good quality made hardware it is very thick so you do not have to worry about breaking this zipper if you need to zip into it but ladies if you have hips stomach and the butt and you try to zip yourself into it, just know 
you're gonna have to hold this baby together to get it to zip on up. And how do I know that? Because I tried it on both ways. I tried it on with zipping it all the way up and I tried it on putting it over my head and pulling it down. I just wanted to let you guys know how you could get in and out of it without feeling like, oh, I may rip that zipper. No, girlfriend. This zipper is very well made. This is not a cheap dress. It's very well made. It wasn't an expensive dress, but it's not cheaply made. This zipper is very good, good quality. Very good quality. The thing that sold me on the dress was the zipper. I like zippers in clothing. Not everything, but it depends on the way that it's made. Of course, you all know that I talk about this all the time and this is the cold shoulder i love asymmetrical um, items i love to have one arm in and one arm out i think it's just sexy it's classy it's pulling you in it's hugging all of your curves in all the right places you're not gonna look ridiculous in this one honey. no man and then ladies, let me tell you something about when you put on a body con dress. How many times have you been behind a lady in church or at an event and you're standing behind her and all of this right up in here is all bunched up because she has not pulled it down and smoothed it out. And again, that goes back to what I said in the previous video, that you need a what? You need a shaper, you need a girl, okay? You gotta make sure that these seams are lined and correct down the hips. You don't want your seams over here, over here. You want them seams to match. Make them match as much as possible. Here's how you make your seams match. When you're putting the dress on, before you get down here to the biggest part of your body and try to, try to twist it, girlfriend, it's not gonna work. You're not going to ever get the seams right. You start up here at the waist, twisting the dress and getting it centered. So that by the time you pull it down, bam, the seams are laying on them hips, girlfriend. So start up here at the waist and then pull it on down. Twist it, pull it down. Don't wait till you get right here. It will never work, okay? But also make sure that your dresses are not bunching and rolling in the back. Even if you have um, back fat or rolls or whatever you want to call them, love handles, it's okay. But just make sure that this part from the back here to the, the butt, right here, that is smooth and it's not all bunched up, okay? These things are important and I know a lot of people say, Girl, I just put it on. Well, that's why you look how you look, too, because you look like you just put it on. Take some pride and take some time in getting into your clothes and putting them on right. You look better. Again, you take away from the dress and the beauty of the outfit when you don't wear it correctly. I'm just saying. I'm not here to talk about nobody. I'm here to educate you and let you know how you can look better in your clothing as a plus size woman because we already have the attention on our bodies because of the curves that we have so why not put it on and put it all right and make it look even better and step into the room and have everybody say well <laughs> she looking good look at her yeah look at me i'm looking like a million bucks but i only paid 45 dollars for this dress Come on, somebody. Don't have the clothes wear you. You wear the clothes, but put the clothes on and set the clothes right. So when you walk in, mm -hmm. all ass is on who? <laughs> you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You know, I like to step into the room. I like to walk into the room and just stop and give everybody an opportunity to look to see what I got off. It ain't showing out. It's just showing out 
who walked in and what I'm working with. That's it, that's all. All right, you all, we're gonna go on to item number four. And this is a blouse, and I'm gonna pair it with some pants and show you how we're gonna work that out. Oh, never mind, I'm not gonna even use the remote this time. I'll be back. All right, here's the last item. I absolutely fell in love with this blouse. Now, I happened to stumble across this blouse by accident. I had typed in the word set in ASOP because I was looking for a two-piece um, set to wear. And this popped up. And I guess the reason why it came up was because it looked like a sunset. They have this blouse in more than one color. They have it in this ombre, orange, and yellow color. They also have it in red, black, and white. But honey, if this is not Diana Ross runway fashion week model giving, I don't know what is. Now when I first took it out the package, I said, wait a minute, where the rest of it at? Did it come with a shell? It does not. <laughs> So you're gonna have to put something up under this, okay? I just put on a black uh, cami and the black uh, Shein, faux Shein uh, leather pants that I showed you all in the other video. I love these pants, by the way. Um, I put that back on, okay? But you can put on a pretty um, orange cami up under here, yellow, white, girl, it is Beautiful, and I'm gonna turn around so you can see the back, but I just want you to see this right here. Mm. It's gorgeous, it just reminds me of Diana Ross, you know. Stop in the name of love before you break my Y'all know what I'm saying. And then right here, it has um the little um, ruching detail where it stretches for the wrist. So if you have bigger arms, you are a lady that is heavy, top heavier, this is perfect for you. Perfect, look at all this room. Look at all the room, the room in the arm. It's just pretty. And then when you turn around to the back, the back is open as well. And then it ties right here at uh, the nape of the neck. So you're gonna have two long uh, string, not strings, but two long pan panels, and they're not very long, and you just tie it. I'm just saying, it's beautiful. It is gorgeous, honey. Another piece that will be a conversational piece that when you walk into the room, people are gonna go, ooh, that's pretty. And again, had I known that it was in the color red, I would have bought it in red so that I could have could have added it to my theme of, of my red theme. But I didn't see it until after I had purchased this one. And I didn't go back on there and get the red one. But I absolutely love it. Ladies, for those of you that are in your personal summer, hand raising, this is perfect for them hot flashes, girl, okay? So if you're going to a wedding, you can put this over a dress, a maxi dress, like a straight maxi, maxi dress. You can wear it with a pencil skirt. You can wear it with some faux leather pants, like how I have it on. You can even put it over, you know, the, the black jumpsuit that I showed you on the full faux leather black jumpsuit. You can put, put it over that. You can put it on with a pencil skirt. You can put it on with a pair of leggings. Again, you will put it on under a cami uh, dress. You know what I'm saying? It's so much you can do with this top. It is simply gorgeous. And I do believe that you have to wash it on your hands. I did not look to see what the, uh, the uh, care instructions were for how to wash it, but I'm sure you can wash it on your hand. It's just it's, it's just, it's beautiful to me. I love it. And I put, uh, paired it with my gold earrings to bring out uh, the gold in the dress. But it's that burnt, orangey color. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's 
beautiful. All right, you guys, that concludes our ASOL Valentine's Day Women's Heart Awareness Month video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. I thought this haul was fire. I thought it was lit. You all know I always try to bring the heat. I always try to bring you something good that you can go over and purchase off of ASOS that you can add to the collection of whatever you have from them. Something that you all can wear in your everyday life and when you want to dress up and go out and look fabulous. So please let me know what you thought about this video by leaving me a comment in the comment section. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Even if you give it a thumbs down, girl, that's your business. But I hope you give it a thumbs up. And also, if you have come this far down the road and you still have not hit that red subscribe button or turned on your bell notification, what you waiting on? I know you liked this video. I know you did. How could you not? I believe that I brought it, like I said, and I think that I look gorgeous in all of the pieces. Yes, honey, I'm tooting my own horn and I'm blowing it too. But I'm just saying, you can look as fabulous as I did in those pieces. So I know you enjoyed it, so you might as well go on and hit the red subscribe button and become a part of CC Fashion Is My Passion YouTube channel. God bless you. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you where? In the next CC's Fashion Is My Passion YouTube video. Bye.